What's going on, you guys? Like, what you guys to the channel? Give me a second. Uh, got another review for y'all for a film called Becky. Spunky and Rebecca, uh, Spunky and Rebellious Becky tries to reconnect with, reconnect with her father during a weekend getaway at a lakefront house. But the trip is soon takes a turn for the worse when convicts on the run, led by merciless Dominic, suddenly invade the home. This is basically a story of a girl who is like kind of like at 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 what's it called at, at a head. Her and her father aren't seeing eye to eye because her father wants to remarry and her mother's passed away, and so she's not a big fan of that. And they're just off at the little summer home, and they, with um, her soon-to-be stepmom and her son, and there are some prisoners just so happened to escape. I'm ready to basically just tell y'all some convicts on the run they escaped, and they're looking for something inside the house, a key. Which one one disappointing thing about this movie, we actually never find out what the fuck the keys for. So that was pretty disappointing. Uh, Kevin James actually plays the leader of the convicts. He's a Nazi bastard. Uh, because, yes, all Nazis are evil, sadistic sons of bitches. Yes, I said it. So if you guys have an issue with me, um, leave me alone. Okay? But uh, I'm not afraid. Uh, <laughs> anyway, it's it's a weird type thing. Because this, this little girl who is uh, it's about she's 13 years old. And she has to, she's trying to defend her father and her step parent. Well, her stepmother, soon to be stepmom. But it doesn't go exactly how she wants it to, okay? Because things start happening, and the movie is, is, is very, very simple. It's just, hey, we, this guy's looking for this key, and he'll kill anybody to get it which we see, find out early in this movie because there is a scene with two young kids and you don't actually see what happens with those young kids. But you pretty much understand what happened with them and it's probably, it's, it's, and it carries weight like through the rest of the film. Now, there are certain times where like certain like the cliches that the film falls into and it's like I kind of wish they didn't do that. And also this, this little girl Becky apparently she also has some serious issues which we find out by the end of this film because it's like, hey, you got some problems, okay? You're going to really need some some serious therapy sessions. But, like, she's kind of, like, still, like, traumatized over the fact that, like, her mother, her mother dying, which is, is, is always something for a, a younger kid. And, uh, but I feel like there's more... <sighs> more to it than we got to see because I felt that there was like certain things that the kid did that you kind of like okay that that just happened and it's, it, there's moments where like you no matter who you are you back against well I ain't gonna say no matter who you are but a lot of time most people back against the wall they like they come out swinging and that's kind of pretty much what Becky did in this situation except Becky never stopped swinging okay Becky didn't take a pause like Becky, like it's called Becky. Like this girl, like I said, man, she's gonna have some serious issues. Kevin James plays this nasty person, and, and and he's great in it. He, it's like nothing. He's completely different version of Kevin James than I'm used to. I'm used to seeing like laughing and stuff. This the bald headed with a beard, and he is ruthless, like like super ruthless, like and. I think it works. I, I'm not going to lie. I would love to see Kevin James with more stuff like this. like Because he just got the, he got the boss presence. Granted, towards the end of the film, it kind of like gets into a cinematic state where it just kind of start things just start like falling in order for, for, the, for, for Becky. Because for the most part, as the film goes on, it's kind of just like, oh shit. You, like, it's very, very tense. Like there are scenes where you just don't know what's gonna happen, and like like I said, these guys are, are murderers, and Kevin James' character is ruthless. So as the film goes on, though, I kind of feel like it still maintains that, but it becomes like, oh, she got out of this situation by doing this, oh, this worked because of it. Like some certain things just start working in her favor, 
like too a little too much. You know what I'm saying? It's just like okay. Well, for the most part, it was like realistic. Now it just seems like okay, well, things just gonna happen because she's the main character of the film. But overall, I really dug it though. Like I was watching, I was kind of, kind of, you kind of get nervous because you never actually know where the film's gonna go. You like you, it's not one of those things where you just like, oh well, she's gonna do this. It's not like a Home Alone type situation at all. But like it, it, it. At the same time, it. I ain't gonna say at all. I'm gonna say it is, but it isn't. Like this is this you could be like oh this is like the R-rated Home Alone because it's definitely R-rated. You see some you see some shit in here, like some pretty disturbing stuff. But it's like it's reverse because she's after them. Like they're not they're not they they're after her and she's also after them because she has to like yo I'm not gonna let this I'm not gonna let this go down. I'm not gonna let this end the way you think it is. It's really good though. I wasn't expecting it to be as good as it was. But um, it was damn good. I give it, I give it a. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it a C plus. What I what what oh B minus? I think I'm I'm, I'm I'm a C plus. C plus is solid for this. I think it's solid for this. Like everybody was great. Shout out to Becky, you crazy some bitch. That's exactly what she is. <laughs> you guys, let me know what you thought about this film. If you've seen it down in the comments, hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching the video. Hope you guys are staying safe. And I'll catch up with you guys later. Peace.